Che here, back for another segment with Christian of Martin's Cantina. Yeah. So how do they go from the grocery business to the restaurant business? So that's, that's so we're gonna talk about a, basically from like the the 80s all the way to 2009 when okay. we opened the restaurant. Okay. So we're, what is that, like 30 years, right? Yes, like 30 wow. years. So in those 30 years, um, there was, uh, no, less than that, right? So. Yeah, well, 80s, so well, we, on what, yeah. Yeah, we were born in the late 80s, uh -huh. right? But they were, um, you know, they got married in 82, I okay. believe. Um, so when you when you go through through that time frame, it, they, we had a, a grocery store, mm -hmm. which we had for probably about, you know, eight years or 10 years. Mm -hmm. That's what we spent our early childhood in the market okay. and with my dad. Uh -huh. My dad ends up selling the grocery store when we're in like middle school, high school. Mm -hmm. He ends up selling the grocery store along with this modern day Amazon business right. and he sells that. Like Instacart. Uh, Instacart, right. right. <laughs> it's, that's what right. it is, Instacart. So so he sells that and um, we actually, now we're in like the 90s, like early 90s, mm -hmm. 95. Okay. Um, and um, we buy, and my dad actually buys a restaurant right here on La Brea which is a seafood, we turned it into a seafood restaurant, but it's right next to the car wash, um, right here on La Brea. La Brea and like Alviso down there? And La Brea and like Florence. Oh, okay, so yeah. So there's, the, uh, there's that big yeah, car wash there. Yeah, left side, yeah. So that car wash, um, I think it still exists, a little mm -hmm. restaurant, but in the 90s, my, my dad kind of, that was the first dive into a restaurant. Okay. That way it was kind of a, literally a hole in the wall. Mm -hmm. There was no tables to sit down. It was kind of like bar stool uh -huh. seating uh -huh. and everything was to go. Um, you had a little bit of area to sit down and that was like our first dive into a, like a restaurant where now instead of going to the grocery store, we have to go to the restaurant. Right. And so that's where as a family, we got our first introduction into the whole restaurant thing. Uh -huh. And you know, my mom and people have always loved my mom's cooking and, uh, my, and okay. my dad's cooking. So, okay. and, and the reason why in the market, I'm gonna go back a little bit, but in the market, it was a kind of a, um, uh, a meat market too. Okay. So my mom would do a lot of uh, sandwiches mm -hmm. and they would sell meat and my, and so she tortas. would- Tortas. Tortas, <laughs> to be exact, exactly, <laughs> tortas. So my mom would like do a lot of this in the market mm -hmm. and she'd put it in my dad's van. Uh -huh. And then when my dad would go out, he, yeah. would, he would sell that. Ah, okay. And, and guys would come to the market and my mom had like a, like a meal plan. Uh -huh. So like construction workers yes. or your everyday kind of, you know, mechanics right. would Blue come dollar. and yeah. they'd pay like, Fifty dollars, for example, yeah. or a hundred dollars. Yeah. And my mom would cook them meals throughout the whole week, wow. and then they'd come and ah, pick up their food. Okay, okay. So that was kind of like already something that we're okay. that we're looking uh -huh, at, where some uh -huh. people were responding okay. well to their yes, food. Yes. So that's in the '90s. In the mid '90s, we go to this. You know, we call it La, La Bahia. Mm. So um, La Bahia was kind of a seafood concept of okay. restaurant. Uh -huh. We sold mariscos and ceviche mm -hmm. and cocktails and tacos uh -huh. and burritos uh -huh. and all that. Um, we did that for about five years, mm -hmm. um, and then one of my uncles actually ended up buying it, and we started getting into limousines. So my mom oh, bought. Wow. We okay. got limo <laughs> so now we're in the 2000s. And Entrepreneur. Yeah, right? now now we're in limousines. So we okay. had like at one point right there on Fairview, once I had like five limos wow. parked, and uh, and and that's what we did. Our job was to now vacuum the limos. Yeah, yeah. There was no car washes, but <laughs> we were the car wash. Right. My mom says, "Hey, you're you're gonna clean the cars." So yeah. we would clean the cars for quinceañeras, yeah, weddings, right. birthdays, right. all of that. Graduations. Right. Graduations. So my my mom would would would, would drive the limousines and so they were doing that for a couple years and then ended up selling the limousines mm. and then this was like in the 2000s early like 2000 we kind of got into a little bit of a financial hardship mm -hmm. like most families uh -huh. I, I think that you know it was got a little difficult yes. and um you know um we did a little bit of everything you know my my mom was working at um at home depot as a vendor along mm -hmm. with my dad mm -hmm. and then they were also like doing stuff on the side we yeah. would do a lot of things on the side mm -hmm. but at that time it was kind of dependent on for the first time they kind of left behind the um, entrepreneur stuff uh, uh -huh. and went into kind of like a, a consistent nine to five. Yeah, like yeah. a mm -hmm. you know a job, but then they were doing this other stuff mm -hmm. on the side. So, yeah. so we, we were doing construction. So uh -huh. then we, me and my dad started doing, and that's where I come in with the plants. Uh -huh. So I met um, a vendor that would you know sell plants to Home Depot, and when I would go help my mom, I, I talked to the vendor and said, hey, you know. Um, uh, you, you, can you sell these plants? He says, yeah. So I would buy plants from him and I would sell them like, you know, on Slauson uh -huh. before right. you get to the Home Depot, yes. like yes. on a Saturday morning <laughs> yeah. with a big old sign. And you know, if someone's watching this, they call the cops on me a couple uh -oh. times. <laughs> get this guy out of here. It's disturbing the neighborhood. Oh, but, 
but it was very um it it, it was very uh rewarding and it's something that i that was the first time of me kind of looking back and seeing my parents entrepreneurial skills mm -hmm. and putting them to test on right. my own mm -hmm. and the best part about that was my parents were so supportive right mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. hey you want to do that go ahead right. so i would Run sell plants on like on the weekends and do all that um and and then you fast forward to 2008 when we're all out of high school at this point mm -hmm. including my my 17 year old brother mm -hmm. we're, we're all out of high school mm -hmm. And um, a little bit out of high school, probably it's, it's you know I think my youngest one's like 20, mm -hmm. my our my youngest brother, and we decide my dad says okay now let's do a restaurant, yeah. um, everybody's grown enough we yeah. can all help, yeah. but the, the only problem with that is is that the economy was horrible. Yes, <laughs> we, were, we were just coming off of you know a recession. Yeah, the, I don't know if you remember the the, the political um, kind of. Um, ambiance at the, the time turmoil, yeah. it was a lot yeah. of you know the war mm -hmm. um and i and i think uh, that when president obama was coming mm -hmm. into office mm -hmm. around no, the time uh -huh. and it was kind of like a lot of uncertainty yeah. at that time mm -hmm. with uh what is the financial situation mm -hmm. in this country mm -hmm. people were losing homes left right, and right. right it was really bad yeah so that's when we said you know let's get this little restaurant it was a hole in the wall on yeah. 64th and la brea you could probably sit like maybe 20 people mm -hmm. and um but it was like let's do it let's mm -hmm. Let's, let's open up a restaurant and that's how you know it, we start off with maybe two employees mm -hmm. um, or, and everybody else was family so right. my mom my dad <laughs> and we all had a kind of a, our, yeah. our day job and when you weren't doing your day job you were at the restaurant right. so that's kind of how in 2009 December 21st of 2009 wow. was the first day we opened our doors uh, to Fiesta Martin Mexican Grill wow. and that's kind of how it was born so it was like nice. all of this what, kind of like years it. of kind of like <laughs> entrepreneurship and and failures and tribulations yeah. and yeah. some successes here and in 2009 it kind of all came together and say let's do this as a team mm -hmm. and let's see what happens yeah. and we went into it with so much uncertainty and just said maybe we could just sell hundred dollars a day that would be three thousand yeah. dollars we can pay the yes. rent yes. and that was like we, yeah. that was our right. idea like right. like yeah. let's just let's just do that and so we invited our friends and family to come out and and we never looked back, I, you know, you, sometimes people ask you, did you ever imagine? No, like we <laughs> never in a million years thought that, you know, uh, from 2009 to 2023, we look back and have six restaurants. That wow. was never the mm -hmm. goal. Mm -hmm. The goal was just to sell hundred dollars a day yeah. and pay the rent yeah. and, and have a, a business that we can kind of, you know, be in the community. Yes. And it was born from this idea the people of England would remember. Um, I think this, the restaurant we're sitting today it was is used to be a Los Ponchos. Oh, so it was oh, a, wow. yeah, it okay. was a restaurant that's been around for many years in the mm -hmm. city. Yeah, I think it was the, the 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 people in town, if you will, was like Los Ponchos. There was um, Acosta Tacos, which at the time was already closing their doors. Mm -hmm. So when you go on this side of town, so we, remember we grew up on Fairview, yeah. which is kind of like North England mm -hmm. near North Inglewood yes. Park and all that. And anywhere going up in that area, there was very little like places to find a wet burrito uh -huh. and enchiladas right. and tacos yeah. and and so when growing up in on Fairview it was kind of like there was not a place that you can mm -hmm. go and you know outside of a couple of places that I mentioned like there was not a lot of places not to go options, yeah. and get Mexican food yeah. so we it kind of was born from this idea that like hey we want to serve our community we want something to you know we we're, we're all old enough to kind of work yeah let's do something in our community mm -hmm. and let's kind of get my parents just cooking in here mm -hmm. and see how people respond yeah. to it and that's kind of how it all wow. it, it all started wow. and and never looked back after so no that. No chef school, none of that. None of that. No, no. Un unfortunately, just not. some it's good home cooks just, with yeah, some vision. <laughs> exactly, and and it's crazy that you know um, that's that's all it takes sometimes, right? Mm -hmm. You know, all, my respects to the people that study to be chefs. I think that's a phenomenal trait. In fact, my yeah. brother, youngest brother, who's 17 yeah. now, wants to go to culinary school. Oh, okay. You know, uh -huh. um, and that's some, and we are completely open to that yeah. idea because uh -huh. we know that the knowledge he's going to bring back right, to us because right. you do it at a level and you kind of do it so much now yeah. you learn throughout the years right. but um you know there's a, a particular a unique uh, set of skills that a school kind of uh, yeah. will, will give you right. and if you can mix that with the experience i think mm -hmm. you have a you know a, a great recipe but yeah to answer your question yeah. it was just mom and dad's cooking and <laughs> and and really i, I don't want to under uh, give credit to the the people that worked with us throughout these mm -hmm. years that have contributed mm -hmm. their kind of feedback and success. You know, our menu doesn't look nothing like when it first started. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I mean, as much as we did a lot of work, it was also a lot of our staff, right? Yeah. That 
you know, a lot of them are still with us today. Wow. Um, even from the beginning, we have employees that have been with us for 10 plus years, wow. a lot of them. Wow. And, um, and, but, uh, you know, the ones, even the ones that have been gone, you know, everybody has always contributed a little bit to, yeah. to this uh, Martine brand now. So, nice, nice. Um, you know, it's, it's a lot of just putting pieces together yes. and seeing, does this work, does this yes. work, change that. And, yes. and so it very much is, is a family and team mm -hmm. uh, contribution. Mm -hmm.